Hello everyone, Junk Wax Investor here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today's video we got we have the top 20, 80s and 90s other sports category. All sports categories except for the top four get considered for this list. Just a quick reminder that I'm away this week camping. I pre-recorded all these videos. However, if you have any questions or comments still, please leave them below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can when I get back. All right, let's get into the list. In the 20th spot from 1993 Fax Packs World of Sport, we have the Diego Maradona card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $549. This is the third highest sale of this card with the record being $700 from September of 2020. This card in Gem Mint condition has a pop of only 23. In the 19th position from 1998 WWF Superstars, we have the Rock Rookie Auto in Rock condition and it sold for $687. This is one of his first cards as the Rock. So definitely an important card if you collect the Rock. In the 18th position from 1987, A Question of Sport UK, we have Mike Tyson graded a Mint PSA 9. This card sold for $760. The record for a Mint 9 is $3,100 and it has a pop of $133 and there are 18 higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s. In the 17th spot from 1983 Hostess Olympians, we have the Cassius Clay Hand Cut card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $800. This is a huge record sale for this card as the previous high was only $30 from back in 2017. There was only actually three previous sales and they were all back in 2017. This card in gem mint condition has a pop of only five. In the number 16 spot from 1993 Panini Calciatore, we have the Fabio Cannavaro rookie sticker graded a mint PSA 9. The sticker sold for $900. This is a record sale for a PSA 9, as the previous high was $565 from earlier in May. This card has a pop of 10, and there are three higher graded PSA 10s. In the 15th spot from 1982 Wrestling All-Star Series A, we have Andre the Giant, graded a PSA 5. This card sold for $935. This is actually the fourth highest sale for a PSA 5 with the record being $1,529. This card has a pop of 51 and there are 125 graded higher with the highest being four mint PSA 9s. In the 14th spot from 1982 Kidco Tough Wheels, we have the Drafting to Win card, which has Dale Earnhardt Sr. in the front card there. It's actually one of the earliest cards of Dale Earnhardt. This one graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $999. There's been no previous sales of a PSA 10, and this is actually a pop of one. A PSA 9 sold in August of 2020 for $199. So interesting to see if we'll see more of these pop up. All right, in the 13th spot from 1985 Tops WWF, we have Hulk Hogan graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $1,078. This is the seventh highest sale of this card with the record being $2,999 and it has a pop of 117 and there are 13 higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. In the number 12 position from 1991 Players International, we have the Mike Tyson Ringlord Sample Card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $1,199. This is a record for this card, with the previous high being $1,009 for March, and it has a pop of only 27. Alright, moving on, we actually have a four-way tie for the eighth position. First up, from 1986 Panini Super Sport Italian, we have Ayrton Senna, graded a PSA 6. This card sold for $1,500. This is the second highest sale of this card with the record being $3,550 from February. This card in the 6 has a pop of 4 and there are 13 graded higher with the highest being 3 Gemin PSA 10s. 
Also in the eighth position from 1996 Merlin Sky Sports, we have the Mike Tyson foil card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card is sold for $1,500. This is the second highest sale with the record being $1,603 for March. This card has an extremely low pop of only 7 in a PSA 10. All right, moving on, we have the 1996 Sports Illustrated for Kids, Tiger Woods Rookie Card, graded a PSA 8. This card also sold for $1,500. This is quite far off the record of $4,583, and has a pretty high pop of 604, and there are 233 graded higher, with the highest being 26 Gem Mint PSA 10s. You want to look at how hard the centering can be on some of these Sports Illustrated for Kids cards. You can definitely see on this one, as you can see the gold on the top and the right from the cards that are connected on the perforations. Alright, and finishing up this four-way tie for the eighth spot from 1994 Upper Deck World Cup Soccer. We have the Mia Hamm Rookie Card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card also sold for $1,500 and there's a record as the previous high is only $700 from April. So definitely seeing some appreciation on this one. This card has a low pop of only 49 as a PSA 10. All right, in the seventh position from 1998 Mundi Chromo Liga, we have the rookie card of Javi, graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $1,580. This is the third highest sale of the card with the record being $2,300 from April. This card has a pop at 25 and there are two higher grade PSA 10s. In the number 6 position from 1992 Grid Formula 1 with a Michael Schumacher rookie card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $1,700. The record for this card was $8,000 from earlier this year and it's kind of been dropping ever since. This card has a pop of 64 as a PSA 10. Hello Junk Wax Investor Community, I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. Alright, let's see what the top 5 holds this week. First up from 1997 Upper Deck England, we have the David Beckham Rookie Card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $1,829. The record for this card is $4,550 and it has a pop of only 24. In the number 4 position from 1985 Panini Supersport Italian, we have Mike Tyson's rookie card graded a PSA 6. This card sold for $2,000. This is the second highest sale of this card with the record being $3,734 from April. This card as a PSA 6 has a pop of 5, but there are 37 graded higher with the highest being 3 Gem Mint PSA 10s. In the number 3 position from 1986 Panini Calciatore, we have the Paolo Maldini card graded at Mint PSA 9. This card sold for $2,500. This is a record for this card with the previous high being $71 from January of 2020. That's a big difference. This card in a mint slab has a pop of only 4 and there's actually none graded higher. In the number 2 spot from 1997 Browns Boxing we have the Floyd Mayweather Jr. Rookie Card in raw condition and it sold for $3,000. I think this is a bit steep for this card in raw condition. When you look at the pictures you can see a print spot in the lower left and it definitely has some pretty soft corners. So I don't know about this one. And moving on at the top of the list this week from 1994 Almundo Deportivo Las Estrellas. We have the Renato hand cut card graded at PSA 5.5. This card sold for $11,227. This is a record sale for a 5.5 because this is the only sale on record. This card has a pop of 1 and there are 6 graded higher with the highest being 1 PSA 8. None of these higher graded cards have recently sold but a PSA 4.5 sold in April for $11,300. So 
So definitely commanding some pretty strong numbers for this hand cut card. All right, that's it for the list this week. The total of the top 20, 80s and 90s other sports categories was $37,743. Definitely a lower total when compared to the previous weeks, especially considering we're top 20 now. Let me know down below what your favorite cards were. And as always, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day and keep collecting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.